If you've been following ClickUp for any point in time, you're probably on their email list receiving these updates every time they change the product, which happens to be like every week. And when they come out with new stuff, which is awesome and exciting and generally really, really good, I feel like I'm, you know, as someone who teaches ClickUp and sets up ClickUp, I'm kind of on the early part of the learning curve trying to adopt these new features and figure out how to use them in the most effective way for team productivity. So one of the features that's relatively new and still kind of getting out there and being fully fleshed out is dashboards. And you see this over here with these little mosaic tiles. Mosaic's not the word. What am I trying to think of? Someone help me here where it's not like grid. It's, it's not mosaic. What is it? Okay, moving on. I've been trying to figure out a great use case for these dashboards for a while, and I've built out a few different ways that I wanted to share with you guys so you could, you know, learn from what I'm doing and push it even further and give me some comments so you can give me some ideas on how to use dashboards even more. So I think the obvious way to use dashboards is to use it as a dashboard, right? A statistics and a, um, a place to track KPIs or track project milestones and share it with stakeholders, whether that's internally or externally. And I thought that was kind of boring. And so I wanted to push the envelope and try to use dashboards in more creative ways. And one of the ways, which is what you're seeing right here, is to actually use the dashboards feature as sort of a membership homepage. <laughs> Not to say that this is at all competing with Member Vault or Podia or any of those um, tools you might be using to manage your membership society, but for me, I am working with clients one on one and in group settings. And often, even when they're working one on one, they are part of kind of a community and ecosystem of resources that every single client has access to. And I've stumbled back and forth on the right ways to share this information with them. And I've kind of realized that dashboards could be a pretty effective way to share this content with an entire, um, entire suite of clients. Suite of clients. That's kind of a weird way to say it, but you know what I mean. So what you see here is a simple dashboard I've just started creating. It's hardly fleshed out yet, but it is a space for clients to go and pull all of the resources I have available to them and use them in whatever way they could see useful. Um, so I have up here in the top right, I have a text image. I have an image here created in Canva embedded using the attach feature. And then, whoop. I got a little excited there. Then I've got another text box here with some links, which I actually haven't inserted yet to some reference materials that clients might need, links they might wanna see or places they might need to go, quick links that will be there to get them to where they need to go. Introductions to the team who's gonna be here to help them. So they'll be able to scroll down as I add more people in here. And of course, some checklists, because for what I do, and maybe I should give that disclaimer, hey, my name's Layla and I run Process Driven. I help small teams set up their software and systems from the ground up, from file storage to contract signing to tools like ClickUp. I help people set up the right tools in the right way and learn how to use them correctly. Huh, he thought I was going to say right. I didn't. And one of those pieces, one of the big pieces of what I do is actually working alongside people to set up technology. So unlike many consultants in this space, I don't do things for you. I could, it would be a lot easier for me and for everybody to just do things for you. But instead, I believe it's important that small businesses, which are my people, learn enough to be dangerous and learn their own tools so that they can be financially and operationally independent. So a lot of what I do involves checklists and there's only a few in here, but every single client, when I work with them, they get a checklist of steps that need to be taken by us or by them to finish the setup of their project. And usually these tasks come from kind of a template of some kind of, Hey, we need to set up Google, my business. Here's the steps to do that. By the way, we need to do all these other things that are completely unique to you. I use templates as a starting point for a lot of those because the process of starting an account is pretty much the same every time. And now it's just making it clear that a client um, feels confident completing that step on their own. All that to say, yada, 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 when I invite clients into my world, of course, they get all the steps that they need to complete the project that we're working on. But I also give them access to every other checklist I have. So if there's anything else that they are curious about or want to set up, they can actually use the checklist in here, pull them into their own account and work through them um, completely complimentary. So that way they can feel like productive and like they've got all they need to succeed using their digital tools. The other thing that I have in here is actually an embedded doc, which is weird. I have embedded a ClickUp doc in ClickUp because when I go under the widgets area of this dashboard, you'll notice, ding, 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 there is no docs feature yet. You can embed a Google Doc, you can embed a Google Sheet, you can embed 
HTML, but you can actually directly just paste a Google or paste a ClickUp doc into it, which is weird. And I expect it to change. But for now, um, I've had to use the embed feature to get that doc in there. So anyway, I have this doc in here, and this doc is actually a pile of different templates I have for clients. So different things like how to onboard scripts for emails, um, just lots and lots and lots of writing, because a lot of the times when we're setting up systems, there are certain things that need to be 100% custom, but then there are certain things that eh, we can use some inspiration for, like your email signature. We don't need to reinvent the wheel on that one. Or your confirmation email. There's some things that you just want to include. So I have a whole library of resources that clients can pull from, copy and paste, and pull into their system, um, which again, we pull for them. But if they want more information, they can just search through and find what they need. So <laughs> this is one example of how I use dashboards. And I wanted to post a video about it because I think I think it's an interesting way to use it. It might not be the most intuitive. I'm not sure if I'm going to stick with it, but I think it's fun. And I thought it'd be fun to share with all of you. I would love to hear if you use dashboards, how exactly you're using them. Or if you haven't used dashboards, what are you considering using them for? Obviously, you see I've got some more dashboards over here that I'd be happy to show you. So if you're interested in seeing more creative ways to use this dashboard feature, definitely leave a comment. Request what exactly you'd like to see. I've got team check-ins and performance review are two other features I have that I'd be happy to share a video on if it would be helpful to you. Um, Yes, and I have some more dashboards that actually aren't in this account that I would be happy to also put on here. But first, I want to hear from you. If you use dashboards, let me know. If you have questions about what I just showed you, how to create this using the tasks table, using text boxes, and using the embed field, let me know. The widgets are pretty cut and dry, and the modifications of the dashboards is pretty easy as well. But of course, things are always changing, so <laughs> happy to answer those questions as things change here. If you haven't already, by this point, my rambling, click the button, not here. Wait, wait, wait. I'm even going to move my face for you guys. I'm traveling for this. Over on this side, there is some button somewhere around here on your device that looks red or gray. You want to click it so that way you can subscribe and get more videos like this because I'll be coming out with a lot more, perhaps more succinct, but still more entertaining um, videos about ClickUp, G Suite, and a bunch of other tools in the coming weeks. And if you want to hear about them, click the button and subscribe to get those notifications when they come out. It won't be spammy, it won't be a lot. It'll, you'll just get a little ping in your account to let you know that, hey, I'm putting out content, might as well watch it. So that is it for this video. I will see you in the comments. Thanks for watching and until next time, see ya.